Hello guys, welcome to our extreme reactor tutorial for Feed the Beast Continuum. Don't hit me. Sorry. <laughs> I can't I can't hit you. Oh sorry, I'm in creative. You're in you're in creative. <laughs> um Okay. So extreme reactors in Feed the Beast Continuum is slightly different than it normally is, so we'll just go over everything that's involved. So this is our end goal to build a big reactor. Nice. Very nice. Um so you've never done this before, right? No, no, never. So I will be going along with the viewers to learn okay, how so to do this. So this will be a basic reactor. Okay. Bare minimum we need. So this is the first mineral that Extreme Reactors brings to the world. Yellowium or Yellowite. Yellowite ore, okay. Yeah, um... So in the chest, these are... Tungsten, steel, Yellowium and coal. We don't need coal. I okay, just... we'll go right coal. <laughs> that is the wrong one. Or maybe we do need coal. We do need coal. Okay, right. put back in. You grab all of them. Okay, I got some rubbish. Uh, ignore that. Okay, I've got all this. Okay, the first one, put this in the furnace. Put the yellow right or, or yellow ore. more. The yellow ore, more. okay. With dust. some coal. Yellow ore and dust, that's what you get out of the ore. And this converts, in normally in extreme reactors, it turns into yellow right ingots, but in this expansion, it turns into uranium. Oh. You're anymore. Weird. Okay, sure. Why not? Bye. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, the second we thing we need is called, hang on, hot tungsten ingots. Hot so if you go in this industrial blast furnace from industrial Tech Reborn, blast. okay. And you need to put in the tungsten and the steel. Okay, steel and tungsten. And then what? Then you gotta wait for it to. Oh, it is doing something. It's doing something. It's very slow, and that should turn into. Hot tungsten, tungsten steel, tungsten steel. Tungsten steel, hot tungsten. Hot tungsten steel, <laughs> Hot tungsten steel. Okay. Almost there. It's pretty hot. Four thousand degrees. Almost. Hot tungsten right, okay. steel ingots. Okay. And, and some dark ashes. Ooh, yeah. Some I don't know what that's for. Okay. Uh, should I grab so, the ingot? Yeah, that's fine. You can leave it. Okay. So the final thing we okay. need is graphite bars, which have been a pain in the ass to make. So come over here. Aha. Uh -huh. So this is a coke oven from immersive engineering. Mmm, delicious. You fill it full of coal and you get cold coke out. Cold cake. You take the cold coke and you put it in this crusher. Crusher. Okay. So you throw it at the top. Oh wow. Uh you should automate that. You can have um Oh, that looks dangerous. Yeah don't fall in. Will it hurt? Wow, no! Okay, it hurts. Okay, it hurts. Okay. Uh, you should always make this really, but we're not <laughs> going to. We're so lazy. And out the side here comes the coke dust. Okay. So, if you want to grab the coke dust. And now you go into the industrial squeezer. Okay, and this is all immersive engineering. Yes, yeah, this is immersive so engineering. So, we'll go over this some other time. Do it in another mod uh, video. Another video, okay. This is just to get. Uh, the graphite. Just to get the graphite, okay. And now it's completely drained the energy. Ah, uh, yes, will that go down? So, eight coke dust turns into HOP graphite dust. Hop. What does HOP stand for? Highly. Oh, I should know this. Highly ordered pyrolytic graphite. Oh, <laughs> really? What does yes. that mean? <laughs> it's called HOPG. Is that an actual real life term? It's an actual real life thing. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so you take that, mm -hmm. and you put it in this resonator from ex Extra Utilities. Okay, a squid. Uh, oh, oops. Um, it's not going in. Not going in? Does it need to be powered? It is powered. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Just a second. Oh no, no, skip a step. Okay, Come over okay, here, okay. here. Put it in this furnace. This furnace, second furnace. Yeah. Okay. So we need to make it into hot graphite bars. I can't remember. I think it turns into HOPG bars. Yes, you're right. Gets, yeah. Okay, got one. Okay, now put. Go over here and put okay. it in this one. 
Okay. Yes. So it's quite a lot of steps to create this um Yeah. Graphics so that really slows down how fast you'll be able to do um to build the reactors. Yeah. Um well never mind. So I think normally in, in big reactors, extreme reactors, you can just burn um coke or no sorry, can... uh, graph Co uh, coal or charcoal, I think, and they'll... You burn coal. Uh, yeah. You burn so coal with the coal, and it makes it... But I think they took out that recipe for this, uh, for the continuum mod pack. Graphite go, bar, graphite. yeah. So when you always ask me, where's all the gold gone? Where's all the coal gone? Where's all the iron gone? <laughs> it's, it's for this. Okay. So um, next we'll move on to the actual recipes. So this is a reactor casing. Okay. And this is used in a lot of the recipes. So, gold, iron, graphite, and redstone. Okay. Make so, we're not going to make it. I'm just going to skip all that. Next, you want to make turn these into the reactor casing. Which here you need the uranium, the graphite, the casing, and the hot tungsten ingots. Okay. And these make... This is the main casing for your reactor. This makes this this spot lock here. <clears throat> yeah, you can turn it into glass if you want. It works the same as the casing okay. by adding two panes of glass to it, two blocks of glass. Two blocks of glass to this main block um, in the recipe. In a recipe. Okay. okay. Next block is the controller. You need one of these to run your reactor. So you need the reactor casings. Reactor casings. You're in here. Uh, redstone. Uranium and one diamond. Uranium, one diamond, and the casings. Okay, surrounded by And you need one of these. Just need one. Okay. And here's your inlet and outlet access ports. So, if you want to automate your reactor, you need an inlet and outlet to get the fuel in and the waste out. Mm -hmm. But if you, you can do it by hand if you just right-click on it. If you don't need the um, to automate it. Uh -huh. So you have inlet and outlet. Oh, is it one big block? Uh, no, no, this is just one block. I just put both down. So you can oh, switch them by okay. adjusting. Is it two blocks? I think okay. if, you, if you use a wrench, you can change it as well. Okay. So that's just casing, uh, a piston, and a chest. Okay, and you only make two of these for one for each. Uh, yeah, you can you can live with one, but if you want to automate your reactor, you need two. Okay. And here's the power tap. This gets your power out of the reactor. So redstone okay. and casing, easy. Okay. And then, do you, uh, are they, no, the control rods. So these sit on top of your fuel rods, and they can adjust the power levels, um, the rate of reaction within your reactor. Okay. Uh, but you can't go into the menu for that because there are no control rods. Uh, we'll get into that a bit. So that's easy to make as well, just uranium, graphite, redstone, and the casing. Mm-hmm. And finally, we have the fuel rods. So that's sure. graphite, uranium, and iron. Right. Let's build. Come in here and grab some of this stuff. Okay. Give me this. So you grab all the top top row. Casing, controller, fuel rod, control rod, RF power tap, access port, thorium ingots. Let's move these out of the way. Uh, uh, yeah. An extreme wrench. Wow. Even much. Uh, and uh, ma manilium pickaxe. And okay, let's, let's go over here and build this. What's the buckets for? Render. Uh, ignore the buckets for now. Okay. For later. Look. Okay. Sure. So we're going to build a small 3x3x3 three by three by three reactor. Okay. A cute little reactor. Yeah, so we want to do casing at the bottom. Casing? Reactor casing. Okay, so here. And. Okay. And one in the middle as well. One in the middle. And in the middle we want to put a control rod. Control... Uh, control rod. Fuel rod, sorry, a fuel rod. Fuel rod, okay. Fuel rod. Okay. And at the front we'll put a, uh, a controller. Uh, right here. Con uh, controller. Just there? Yeah. No, no. Oh. Right on this square. This square? Where I'm looking at. That's the Okay. One. Uh... So that's why I got the picks so we can get rid of these. Thank you. <laughs> Is the sun setting? Sunset. Uh, there we go. Oh, okay. Um, we'll put the access port here. Access port. Uh, access port here. Mhm. Mm and on the back, we'll put the the, uh, the power tap. 
RF power tap. Yeah. Yep. So here you'd connect to other machines, like so our machines the over there. output to power the machines you're going to power. Yeah. Okay. Okay, and um, now we just cover the rest of it in the reactor housing the casing. casing. So did you? And come up here. You should do another level. Uh, you don't do the middle square. That's the only one you don't do. Okay, so that's now that's okay. Got that in it. Okay. Oh. And now you want to do the fuel rod. Fuel rod. Again? So, no, the wrong one. You need to do the um. That was fuel rod. That one. What have you got in your hand? Uh, control rod. Control rod. That's one. Sorry. Control rod. And oh. you notice the blocks changed. I did. That means it's worked. Yes. Got it right. Okay. So if you click on the control control rod now, okay. you can actually uh. change the insertion depth of the control rod. Ah, I see. So the more you insert the rod, the slower the reaction. Okay. So we don't want, we want full reaction. Full reaction. Full so reaction jump speeds. Ooh, okay. Okay. So if you go to this menu here, right click, mm -hmm. and if you shift click in all your yellow rim. Okay. Oh. Okay. So you notice four disappeared straight away. It did. Yeah. So that's gone into the fuel rods in the middle. Okay. So the 60 left, um, that'll be taken in as the reaction happens, as the uh, re uh, fuel depletes. Okay. So if you go over to this menu now, see there's a bar called yeah. fuel... Status? Status. Yeah. And if you go in your menu at the bottom and just type in a load of junk, it'll get rid of the stuff on the side so you can actually... Use Oh, I've done that already. <laughs> I'm searching about um, to make the thimmin graphite bar. <laughs> um, so you can see the fuel stats 100% full, 0% depleted. Yep. So we'll just start this up now. If you go to the bottom left button, you can see the activate reactor. Alright, so it says status offline at the moment. Okay, yeah, so, so we want to online. There we go. Okay. So then we have What's the temperature at the top left. Yeah. The energy output. Then the fuel burn up rate and then the fuel reactivity. So that percentage for fuel reactivity is how efficient your reactor is. Okay. Um, early on in in your game, you really want to get um, waste product of this. It's called um, plutonium, I think. Let me just check that. It's blue something. Ah, I, I can't find it. <laughs> but yeah, you, you need that for um, some other things later on in, in the mod pack. So really, you want to be wasting as much fuel as you can to get the plutonium uh, out. Okay. So uh, you don't really want to worry about this early on. This is going to auto eject the waste. Yes. Yeah, so just leave that on, and then Where will it on go? this side, on this side here. Uh huh. And you can see there's a blue port. Oh yeah. And it'll come out there. So eventually it'll come into the blue. Mm -hmm. Okay. And if you use a second access port and set it to outlet mode, it'll actually pump it into a chest for you. Okay. So, um, let's just check the re remaining things on this menu. So, the other two things are case heating and core heat. Case heating and core heat. Yeah. So, um, these define how efficient your reactor is and how fast your fuel rate burns, like fuel burns up. Mm-hmm. So the, the you need to moderate heat within the reactor to make it more efficient. Okay, so keep it cooler? Keep it cooler, yes. Yeah, so you actually need to build a cooling into the reactor. Okay. And before we go away from this one, if you notice on the left bar, there's a blue uh, bit at the oh, bottom. Oh, a tiny little bit, yeah. Mm -hmm. Six so that's depleted fuel. Okay. So at the moment it's on 250, 260 millibar millibuckets of, um, of waste. Of waste. Uh, yes, okay. So when that hits one, will it spew out? When it hits a thousand, yeah. Uh, so thousand. one bucket, yeah. yeah. Then you'll get a plutonium bar out, ingot out the side here. Okay, and then, sorry, what's that used for? That is used for turbines later on in this mod pack. Nice, okay. But we won't cover that in this tutorial. Okay, how do we um, out get the waste out from here? Uh, is it you just, just pick it up. If you wanted to put it into a chest, say. Uh, you would add the second access port. So you, you do an outlet mode, do you? Yeah, outlet mode and you just attach a chest or pipes or whatever you want. That's 10 blue now. Okay, and then what kind of pipes do you need? Just well, a pipe? Uh, uh, maybe. Maybe. 
Oh, just stick it on the side. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I, I think that works, so I'm not too sure. <laughs> um, let's take that off now, just in case. Um, let's go ahead and build a better reactor. Because this is really bare minimum. You can't get any smaller than this. Okay. So this is doing 240 RF per tick. Is that not much? That's not much. Oh, and one more thing before we move on. If you notice the right bar, there's an energy buffer. Yes. So the reactor actually has its own battery inside. Mm hmm So you can store some energy in here. Okay. Why would you uh, need that? In case your batteries are full. Or you haven't got any batteries. So do you put batteries so you... into this? You don't you don't put anything in. It just has an internal storage. Okay. So you switch it off and it just keeps that energy in there. Okay, and it drains the battery energy. Uh, when you use the energy, it does. So if you turn it so off, you... and then it will use start to use the energy buffer. No, it stays it stays there. It's just a battery. Oh, it turns into a battery effectively. So whatever's gaining the uh, power from this reactor will then start to use the battery. Yeah. Okay. So if you suddenly so you... have a sudden meltdown, all of your stuff won't suddenly turn off. You've got a bit of a buffer where you can fix it. Yeah. Okay. Okay, this one's going to be a bit more trickier. So we're going to build a 7x7x7 seven by seven by seven reactor. Oh, okay. So... Okay. Yep. Oops. we got to do the entire floor. I think I've already screwed up. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think you've got one too many. Okay. You fill in the floor. And there's one too many here. Okay, now put a um a controller right in the middle here. Control rod. Nope. Con reactor controller. Reactor controller. Okay. Right in the middle. So uh, yeah. No, right on the front. <laughs> My bad. Okay, controller on the front. Okay. Um, that's this. That's the, the video screen. I can see. Everything. Yeah. Let's put the. You got an access port. Put two of them here. I have an access port on here. So here and yeah. here. And we'll change one into an outlet mode. Okay, that's just. So we could pipe stuff in okay. and out. Um, I'll put a power tap on the back. Power tap on the back. In the middle. There you go. Mm -hmm. And now we want the fuel rods. Um, fuel rods. So we'll do like a five shape, like a, a dice five. So four more around it. If you remember what dice look like. Yeah, you're close. You're close. You're you're very close. Uh -oh. <laughs> Except you're completely wrong. Uh, what do you mean five? Oh, I see. Like like five. Right. Like, okay. like on a dice. Yeah. Right. Okay. I see what you mean. <laughs> okay. Now we're gonna build this, this structure up. It's got to be seven high as well. Okay. But we're gonna use um, I'm gonna use reactor glass on the outside so you can actually see in. Nice. And, and on the corners we'll use the casing. Okay. Extreme reactors, reactor glass. Yep. And we just want to fill right. everything in. Am I filling in the casing now? Uh, yeah. But it's got to be on the outside and not on the inside. It has to have a hollow in the middle. Ah oh, yes, of course. Silly me. Oh, but you're filling this in with glass instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, how to stand out the way, shall I? <laughs> oh. It's like parkour. Okay. Okay. So, can we fill it all in? Okay. I don't have any reactor glass. You don't have any? No, you didn't give me any. I didn't give you any reactor glass. No. Um, okay, you take this then. You take that 11 that I just threw behind you. Thank you. Uh, we're going, am I going two more higher? Um, oh shit, I jumped off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that one is the correct height. This one is a great height, okay. I'm just gonna jump to creative to get a ladder. <laughs> okay. The sun is setting again. It's short days. I've run out of glass. That's right, you fill in the roof. 
or the uh, you need to uh, sorry you meant to put a um reactor casing in the top level there yes uh, i don't think the reactor glass smashes so you can reuse no, it it's, but it's fallen forever. down it's gone forever Outside structure is this casing. Right. You still got those uh, fuel rods? I do. You need to extend them to one below the top here. Okay. Ooh. Ouch. One below, one more. One more, yeah. Okay. Now you need to put the fuel rods on top. The the control rods, sorry. Control rods. <laughs> on top of hard to see. On, so on top of the fuel rods. The very top. Nice. It worked. Okay, now you can jump down. Okay. Now, where are you? I'm right here. Right, if you watch the fuel rods in the middle, I'm going to put a little bit of yellowium in. Okay. So, oh, you notice? Yeah, it's so there. It's starting to fill up evenly. Um, so one thing you should know is you want to um, put as much in as you can because the fuel will be more, uh, there's more fuel so it's more reactive and okay. you actually get more energy for having more. So. Just grabbing some more yellow rim. Okay. Um, now, do you want to power this on? I do. And go. Oh, it's so super hot. Immediately gone past the uh, 200 RF per tick. This was Four producing. Killer RF. Yeah. And it's still increasing. It's getting really hot. Should we be worried? No, nah, it's, it's fine. So it's leveled out about. It's almost using one millibucket per tick, and it's um, 4.5 kilo RF per tick. Yeah. So thousand the problem we RF. Have here, nice. The, the problem we're having is there's no cooling, which is an important thing in uh, extreme reactors. Yeah. Should we be worried? No. Okay. So just remember, it was running at 2,200 degrees Celsius and four and a half thousand RF per tick. Okay. And using up one millibucket. So now you're gonna grab these things over here. Uh huh, okay. So grab all the buckets. Come with me. Okay. This is resin ender buckets. Oh, I didn't build the ladder high enough. <laughs> uh so resin ender is like one of the best cooling um things in the game for extreme reactors. You can use solid blocks like gold and diamond things. But um this this one's better. Oh. So you wanna take all the glass back off. But ideally we want some of that glass. So I I'm just gonna grab it and I'll Okay. Uh have you used Resident Ender before? No, I haven't. It's a little bit tricky to work with. But I'll show you why afterwards, unless you do it by accident. I'll explain what happened. Okay, can I ask a quick so, question while we're up here? If well, we were to make this bigger, what would yeah. the pattern be like? Would it be one extra out on each corner? Uh, that is a good question. Um, there are simulators online that show you, that let you calculate what the best configuration is. Okay. And there seems to be plenty of battles online deciding what's the best configuration. <laughs> Okay, let's just stick so, with this for now. I don't even know if this is a good configuration, I'll be honest. Oh, right. This is the configuration I use. Okay. So the heat dissipates from the fuel rods mm -hmm. one block north, south, east, west. Okay. And then it dissipates from the cooling medium again, again until there's nothing left. Okay, so that's very uh, why it's this configuration, so you can cool it off more efficiently. Yeah, I don't know if efficient is the right word, but yeah. Okay. Um, so then you could just sort of have one here then, and one there. And yeah, one there. I... Uh, as long as like the faces were uncovered. 
Oh, I see. Yeah, okay. And then... Yeah. Okay, where am I going to dump this ender? Right, it's going to be one level below control rods. So you want to... like that. Oh, you left the game. Did I? Uh-oh. Out. Uh, timed out, connection lost. Jump back in and check your still recording. It's still red. Still red. I'm back in. You're back in? Yeah. Okay. So, one below the fuel rods, we'll put this resin ender in. Okay. On, on each side of the few rods. Yeah, it's got to go all the way around the reactor. That sounded like an enderman. Yep, but don't worry, it's not enderman. You missed one corner. I ran out of ender. Uh, so, a pie. Um, I'll just jump into creative just to... It's off. So where would we get this resonant ender from? I think you have to get ender pills and then you melt them down. Okay. I think. Um, it's a bit of a pain to do. You need like an ender farm really. But it's a pain because if you touch the liquid, everything teleports. <laughs> so if you if you jump in it. Yeah. Go and do it. Do it. Jump in it. Okay, where am I gonna? Okay. Alright, you'll, you'll come find me, right? Yeah. Okay. <gasps> oh, oh, actually, that wasn't that far. No, you don't teleport very far, but you just teleport randomly. Okay. So it's a bit of a pain to work with sometimes. But I'm just going to cover the top up with glass now. Okay. I can't see now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I'm just... Ooh. So that's the reactor glass. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now it's back to a full... Ah, it's activated again. Right, okay. let's jump off. Okay, and then... Right, switch it back on. Right, so we got to four and a half thousand. We're already past that. It was running at two thousand degrees Celsius. And it's like half it was that burning now. up. Yeah, and it was burning up um, wow. one millibucket per tick. So it's now much cooler. It's producing a lot more power. And yep. it's using a lot less... Less fuel. Less yep. fuel. Okay. And the energy buffer is already full. Okay, so that, that's signified by the fuel reactivity, is it? So that's now better. Uh, wow, the battery is immediately full. Yeah, and that is uh, the basic reactor in extreme reactors. Wow, thank you. Okay, so uh, next time we'll go over turbines. Excellent. <laughs> okay, we'll see you next time. Bye.